with Tom Shaw after a 1-0 defeat on the road at Buxton. Difficult to take? Um, but they, they were slightly better than us, so probably, probably deserve the victory. We've not troubled their goalkeeper um, anywhere near enough, so uh, probably a, fi a fair result on the whole. Um, there's a spell in the second half, a long spell in the second half, where there was not much in it at all. Their, their number 11 got away from us a few times on the left side, but I um, thought we were a lot more competitive in the second half. First half in, in tough conditions, into the wind and, and the blizzard that was blowing. Um, we just stood off them a little bit, just didn't get up to the ball enough. They they moved the ball pretty well, so picked off our shape a little bit. So um, we changed that as quick as possible, stopped their full full backs getting out, um, and that gave us a um, like a bit more solid in, in that situation. But then on the turnover of possession, we just weren't clean enough. So we did win the ball back um, when we changed when we flattened off our midfield and. We just gave it up on our first pass, which didn't take, take enough care. There was loads of opportunities to counter-attack. Their full-backs were really high and expansive, and we just didn't look after the ball on the turnover, which has, um, has cost us a few opportunities to go and run at their centre-half. So, disappointed about that, because there's no excuse on the on a nice surface. Um, so, that's something we'll touch on this week. But, yeah, they, they were slightly better than us, and, and the, the quality they have in their squad, and you look at the lads that, that came off the bench, it's, it's, a, it's a different world to most of the league with, with what they've got. So... Um, yeah, they were slightly better. We'll go away and, and, and take our, our learning from it um, and, and, we, and we go on to, to the next game. But we've been told not to say anything about the youngsters for sort of, you know, the age of a group. It's something that a young group will take as a learning lesson today. Yeah, that's a, so the, the two young boys we've got in, in midfield and the two young forwards, that's a level up to, to what they've been playing against in the first few, few games for Gainsborough. So they'd have felt that a little bit today and... Um, like they were very competitive, Buxton, like in their duels, in their aerial stuff, they were very competitive and um, and all through our team, not just the young ones, we've got to stand up to that a little bit better um, and we, we can't accept that, that, those little fights on the halfway line, we, we, we've got to pull up a bit more of a a bit more of a battle there, um, but yeah, for the young players, uh, um, it, it's the reality of, of how good players are at the top end of this league and those, those young lads are looking to go and play above these levels, so... Um, definitely stuff to to speak with with, with those players, um, but they were honest enough like the rest of the team that, that we, we we had a good go today. Just didn't think we had enough edge in the first half, which is which has cost us ultimately. But hopefully from the second half they get a bit of belief because they went toe to toe with some very good players, and for a long spell of that second half they they were probably better. Which makes it all the more frustrating. But we had to do it having lost Neil Bishop in the warm up. Yeah, that doesn't help. Like I, I know that he would have had people. In front of him, um, getting a little bit further up the pitch, he'd have been demanding of that, and we perhaps just sank a little bit in the in the first half. Well, they 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 they, they earned that. Buxton, they moved it well, and we had to to shuffle and slide in our shape. But yeah, losing Bish is is or it'd be a blow for for every team in this league. I think if he was if he was uh, unavailable to play because he, he plays at a really high level every single week, and, and his experience is massive for us. So that was disappointing. Um, but I think we made the right call there because he, he, he probably could have started the game. But if something goes wrong, we lose him for, for the rest of the season, probably. So we didn't want that. We've, we've made a, a calculated decision with that, and, and hopefully he'll be fit for next Saturday. And fair play has to go to Buxton for being able to get this game on at, I think, 11 o'clock this morning. Well, even at 1 o'clock this afternoon, it didn't look possible. No, it was it's an incredible effort by, by their volunteers and, and everybody else that's, that's got involved to, to get the game on, and the pitch was beautiful, wasn't it? So um, fair, fair play to them. Um, yeah, we, we, we'll come away from this with uh, a little bit, well, a few more experiences of, of what the top end of the league looks like. They, they, um, those and Buxton and FC, uh, FC United have been the best two teams, in my opinion. They've got the robustness that most teams seem to have, but they're athletic with it, so it, it makes for a really tough game. And these shifted the ball well on their, their home patch. Um, so, so fair play to them, but um, we'll, we'll keep fighting and we'll bounce on to, to two home games now in the, in the coming weeks. 12 games, 12 cup finals. See where it goes. Yep. Cheers, Rob.